Hi everyone, I'm Dom from Sony and I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Explore Xperia. The series where I aim to show you some new and useful features on your Xperia device. Now today I'm going to be taking you through the 4K 120 frames per second feature on the Xperia Pro i. What it is, how to use it and what you can do with the footage after you've shot it. So, what is this feature? Well, your normal everyday video footage is most likely going to be shot in 30 FPS, or if you're going for a more cinematic look, then you'd film in 24 or 25 FPS. You film in that frame rate, you play back in that frame rate, everything looks normal. But you film in a higher frame rate and play it back at one of those lower frame rates and you've magically created some slow motion footage. How slow and how smooth the footage is depends on how high a frame rate you're recording in. So, let's do some maths. If the project you're working on is playing back at 30 FPS and you film at 120 FPS, that means that you can slow it down up to four times slower and it will still be mwah, buttery smooth. But if your project is playing back at 24 FPS, you can get that 120 FPS footage playing back five times slower. And let's not forget that you are able to do this in 4K. That is four times the resolution of full HD. So not only is your footage going to look super dramatic, but it will also be unbelievably sharp thanks to the resolution and clarity offered by the Xperia Pro i's 1.0 type image sensor, Zeiss TSAR lens, and the device's ability to maintain focus at such high frame rates. Okay, so how do you use it? Well, firstly, you open up Videography Pro and press Menu. Make sure the 24mm lens is selected, then tap FPS and select 119.88. There is a reason why it's labeled this. It is quite technical, but if you'd like me to explain it in another video, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But for all intents and purposes, this is 120 FPS. Get your other video settings as you'd like them, and don't forget that in Videography Pro, you can adjust almost anything. Uh, that's the ISO, the white balance, the shutter speed, etc. I'll put up on the screen all the settings I used for this shot coming up. Uh, then you just hit record, shoot your footage, and you're done. Well, kind of. What can you do with the footage? Well, some of you may have spotted the option slow motion just below FPS and that I had it switched off. Why? Well, if you remember at the beginning of the video, I said, if the project you're working on is playing back at 30 FPS and you film at 120 FPS, that means that you can slow it down up to four times slower and it will still be mwah, buttery smooth. But if your project is playing back at 24 FPS, you can get that 120 FPS footage playing back five times slower. So the Xperia Pro i doesn't automatically know what your final frame rate is going to be. So it saves the 120 FPS file as it is for you to then edit in your editing software afterwards and slow it down as much or as little as you like. I personally like to use a speed ramp so that the switch to slow motion isn't quite as jarring. And because you're able to work in 4K, you can pair that speed ramp with a zoom on your subject and really add some drama. Now, if you change the FPS to 60 FPS or lower, you can then change the slow motion option to on uh, so that the Xperia Pro i can shoot the 120 FPS footage and do the maths for you. Of course, you can switch the slow motion option off so you're just left with the original 60 FPS footage to edit as you like as well, but it's good to know you have the options there. So, there you have it, the 4K 120 frames per second feature on the Xperia Pro i, giving you the ability to create high quality slow motion and enabling you to flex your creative muscles by keeping you in control of the footage. Let us know how you'd use this feature in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the Sony Xperia YouTube channel to get the latest in product news and tips, and I will see you next time.